All right, be honest. How many times have you seen this error message in your applications? Veet manifest not found. Pretty much every time I open the project is the answer for me at least. Of course, the fix is simple. We go to the terminal and we say npm run dev, come back and refresh, and it works. But we're programmers, right? We're tinkerers. We automate things for a living. So why should we have to manually execute this command each and every time we open the project? If you're using PHP Storm, it's actually laughably easy to make sure you never have to run this command for your application again. Let me show you. With our project open in the IDE, I'm going to double tap the shift key. I'll type in edit configurations and hit enter to bring up this run forward slash debug configurations window. You'll see on the left that PHP Storm has already created several automated configurations, for example, running pest or PHP unit, but we can add a manual configuration using the plus button here in the top left. Choose npm, and note that it auto detects our package.json file, and it auto selects the run command, which is exactly what we want for our particular use case. The script is obviously dev, which will boot feet up. That's exactly what we would type inside the terminal, npm run dev. So with dev in place, we can hit apply, okay, and you should see it pop up here in the toolbar at the top. If not, you can select it from the dropdown and then hit the little play icon, and you'll see in the built-in terminal that it's actually started the Vite server. If we go to the browser and refresh, everything works correctly. Just to show you that this is the reason for it working, let's hit the stop button here, return to the browser and refresh, and we get our Vite error again. Back to the IDE, hit the play button, back to the browser and refresh, and everything works. So this already makes it simpler to start npm run dev. We just have to hit the play button. But even that is too much work for my liking. We can actually tell PHP Storm to automatically execute that configuration anytime we open the project. Go ahead and open up the preferences window. On Mac, that's command comma. Head to tools and then startup tasks. Hit the little plus button and you should see your dev script that you've created as one of the options. Let's click it, hit apply, and OK. That should be everything we actually need for this to work. Let's stop the script and I'm going to close this project, then open it again and I'll do that from the terminal using PHP Storm Dot, but obviously you could do it from the PHP Storm browser as well. And note that as soon as the project opens, this dev script is automatically executed. If we go to the browser and refresh the page, everything works correctly. Uh, of course, we don't really want this window to pop up at the bottom every time we open the project. It should run in the background. That's fairly straightforward to fix. Go to the three dot menu, edit the configuration, and in the panel under before launch, you'll note that activate tool window is automatically checked. Uncheck it, hit apply and OK, and then let's close the project down again and reopen it to test that our changes worked. Note that the terminal window didn't open inside the IDE, but if we take a look at the toolbar at the top, it has automatically started the dev script for us. If we go to the browser and refresh, everything works correctly. So there you go. That was pretty straightforward, wasn't it? The next time you find yourself staring at that V terror, the next time you find yourself typing npm run dev, if you're using PHP Storm, take a minute to create a run configuration, add it as a startup task, and enjoy never having to worry about it again. See you next time.